An absolutely interesting day of trade is what we've seen clearly. The benchmark indices overall have ended flat. And this is after trading in the red for most part of the session. It was actually the last 15 minutes of trade where we good saw a good spike that did come in in today's session. It was IT that actually continued to put pressure and that was the sector that has been in focus. Whilst auto as well as realty, these were two of the sectors which actually saw smart gains. If you see in terms of Nifty 50, we've ended just at the borderline at 18,599, just short of a one point in terms of 18,600. And Bank Nifty saw marginal gains of around two tenths of a percent coming in there. But we were afloat above those 44,150 levels in session. Uh, overall, the Bank Nifty actually outperformed the benchmark in the season trade. And similar was the trend with the broader markets as well, if you see the mid cap as well as the small cap index. One important point to pick up today for the markets is that the NSE is going to shift the Bank Nifty expiry, that's the FNO expiry, to Friday from a Thursday. Now, what impact it will have on Sensex, that's BSC, uh, in terms of this uh, BSC Sensex, uh, sorry, BSC Bankex is going to be interesting to watch out for. Uh, let's look at the top gainers. Now, a lot of positivity coming in for the cement pack. And you have Ultratech as well as Grassim that were the top loser uh, gainers in trade today. Whereas Tata Motors has also been gathering a lot of momentum over the last couple of trading sessions. A lot of positive notes coming in on that counter. TV's Kotak Mahindra Bank for the other top gainers. On the losing end, it was mainly the IT pack, Tech Mahindra, Infosys, TCS, Wipro, as well as an ONGC, which was down in trade. A couple of counters that were trading at a 52-week high, you had the likes of a 3M India, Bajaj Auto, HAL, the IDFC Twins, Prestige, as well as Ultratech Cement. Moving on, let's quickly look at the newsmakers. As we mentioned, it was Nifty IT that tumbled and the impact was much higher in terms of the mid-cap IT counters, specific, uh, especially with regards to stocks like Pristi, uh, Persistent System, CoreForge, etc. And this was mainly as EPUM Systems has sent out an SOS and the mid-caps were hit. NHPC is looking to set up an energy storage system for Maharashtra government. That counter was in focus. Uh, IEX was under pressure on the back of the downtick that we saw in terms of the May update, specifically from a pricing perspective. Uh, JK Cement, the stock hit a 52-week high, and this is on the back of the acquisition announcement that it has made for the eastern region. Access Bank was also out, up in trade as Jefferies has maintained a buy rating and the back of the integration with Citibank. And lastly, you're a Thermax, which was under pressure after the arbitral tribunal approved a 250 crore worth of claim against the firm. So overall, if you go to see a lot of movers and shakers in trade today, but clearly a flat close is what we've seen in the market.